What is going on guys, DBG here. And this is going to be another one of the videos where I try to make a squad from scratch. I have absolutely no idea to mark it. I don't know it that much because, well, to be fair, I don't, not necessarily that I don't play this game. I just play on so many different accounts that I really do not have any idea to mark it. So in this video, we are going to be setting a price of around 50K. <coughs> so that's kind of what I am going to be working with. So. Um, I'm just going to change this lineup up here because this was our 25k. Was this our 25k lineup from last week? I don't think it was. I don't think it was. So the first addition that we are going to be looking to get into this squad is this guy right here. So Isaac Bonga. That is pretty much the player that we are going for. So let's just say maybe 7k. 7k is probably the price that he's is right now. Okay, he's going, down, he's going down in price. He's going down in price, so that's not too bad. So for my Road to Glory video later today, it probably will be an Isaac Bonga one. So for this price, yeah, you can't. Like, I bought him for 6K on Friday and thought he was going to go up in price. Let's see what price Bonga actually is. Okay, so he's between 5 and 6K. That is not too bad. Or We were whipping out the calculator here anyway for this. So, okay. We're trying to look for as cheap as possible with these cards. 5,050, okay. That is fine. 5,000, is there anyone for 4,950? Yeah, there's a bunch of them, okay. So let's see what the cheapest we can get here is. 4,700 for Isaac Bonga. Okay, so we've got our point guard sorted. And the two guard, for these prices, we're still looking at Lance. And Lance Stevenson is still the player that we are going to be looking for here. And let's see what his price is right now. I'm guessing it's in and around the 5, 6K range. I don't mind it like, these are guys that are going to be constantly changing price. Okay, so he's over 6K. Still worth it. Still worth it for me anyway. Okay, so we have 6.3K for Lance Stevenson. Which, or 6.350. That puts us on 11,000 for our point guard slash two guard. And let's have a look at other, another player that we kind of need for the squad is going to be Danny Manning. There is no question about it. Danny Manning is a player that's a must for this squad. So, Danny Manning has probably gone up a lot in price since last week. Last week, we managed to pick him for 7k on this account. So, he's gone up a little bit, I think, but he's a must. He's a must. It doesn't matter if he's 11, 10k. He is a must anyway. Okay, so let's just see what price we can get him for at his cheapest. So, 10k. Okay, so he's not the most expensive. Not cheap either. He's definitely one of the more expensive players in this squad. Okay, so he's between 9 and 10k. So he's gone up like 3k since last week. To be fair though, last week we used him in... I just clicked free agent tonight. Yeah, last week we used him in a much more of a budget squad, but... Okay, so he's 9k? That's not too bad. So... Let's see where... Oh my god, how many is there that were put up for 9.1k or 9.2k in the same minute? So 8, 9, 50 maybe? Okay, so he's 8,350. 8,000 cheaps. Okay, plus 8,000. That's not bad at all. It puts us at around 19,000 for our three main men. So let's put those into the squad right now. We're just going to use this squad right here. So our point guard is going to be Bonga. Our two guys, Stevenson, and our three is Danny Manning. So we have about 20k. So we have a 30k left to work with. And our two centers are going to be a fairly obvious combo. And it's going to be Thon and Marvin Bagley, probably. So we're, we're pretty much going a lot with our Nomi Spence squad. But again, like this is 50k, so we don't have a lot of our Nomi Spence squads. So we got to be a little bit creative. Because these are the obvious ones that we're looking at now. Okay, so Thon thankfully has not gone up in price too much. My investments for Thon do not look very smart at the minute. So Thon make a ruby. I picked up a bunch of them for 2000 MT. And thought that I was being a genius. He was going to go up to 7 or 8k. Obviously not. So Thon maker is still right now 1750 so we're looking at 20,000 and we've got most of our starting five sorted. And then another player we are looking to definitely pick up is Marvin Bagley. So Marvin Bagley the third. Okay, he is around... I'm going to hopefully I can get him within three, within two and a half K. Color Amethyst, I doubt it. Okay, so he's not, not too bad a price to be honest. Like three, three and a half, four K is still worth it for this card. Okay, but he's a little bit still under 3k. Like, he's so good. Like, he's... When I say it's worth it, so 2650. That's fine. I will gladly, gladly pay 2650 for a Marvin Bagley. 
So that's our center position pretty sorted. And we are just under halfway through the teams. We have 23, 450 right now. And it's our center position. I'm going to take out Baines, who is... I like Baines, but he's not quite as good as Bagley. And let's replace them all bronzes, all the other players, just to uh, make sure we're okay. And there we go. So we've got... We basically got five players here. We got our backup um, center. We got three guys right here that are all pretty good or four guys right here so we need a power forward and we also need okay i'm just gonna check these new players right now premiums some of the new fan favorites players none of these are cheap what price is the new ball okay it's not that expensive okay so these are the type of players i'm gonna have a look at some of the spotlights in players so Bryn Forbes is not a bad player to have a look at. I think I'm going to throw in a bid on Bryn Forbes because I do like this card. I think he is a really nice budget card. So I think I'm going to put like a 2.75k bid and just see if I can win him. Because that wouldn't be a bad player to get in the squad. Other than that, I don't think Spellman's worth really using. Not terrible, but he's not worth using. And I think we might, if we can be frugal, we might be able to splash on one more player. So we've got about 27k to work with. We won't be looking at, even though I like Tim Hardaway Jr., he's a little bit expensive. Okay, let's have a look at Campus Legends. Jay Williams, a point guard off the bench. Is that a little bit expensive, I think? Let's look at Prime. Is there any of these that we can go with, we can have a look at? Okay, so Jeff Green mightn't be a bad shout in the squad right here. So let's have a look for Jeff Green's price just as a power forward. I think he might be quite good. And uh, let's have a look. Jeff Green is... Maybe 3k, hopefully. 3k, if I can get him for that, I'll be happy. 3.2k. Okay, so wrong version, Jeff Green. He's a little more expensive than that. So we're not going super, super cheap with these cards here. We're probably going maybe 3.8k here with Jeff Green. Which means that... Okay, 3.2k. Okay, that's fine. 3.25k puts us on 26,700. And we get out bit on Bryn Forbes. Okay, so one player we're definitely going to add in is Dante DiVincenzo. I don't know whether I'm going to play him at the two or the one. It all depends on who we can get around him. Bryn Forbes might not be a bad shout to look for. So 1,200 for DiVincenzo. Okay, yeah, he's still really, really cheap right now. 1,000. He, he might even be cheaper than that, to be honest. He might be 950. He's plus 900 for Dante DiVincenzo. So yeah, plus 900. That's okay. So right now with the squad... Point guard off the bench is going to be DiVincenzo. Starting power forward is going to be Jeff Green. And we've still got... We've got three players left, and we've got 22.5k to work with. All right, so... I think I might just splash on one of them. I think Bryn Forbes at the two, maybe... Oh, no, Pierce. Pierce is going to be a nice player. I think Pierce is still quite cheap. Paul Pierce. I actually think he may not be a bad shout at all to add into this squad. So let's see if we can get Diamond Paul Pierce for like within, within 10 and a half, 11k. I'll gladly take him. I'm just going to see if we can get him for this price now. And I clicked pink time, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay, that's nice. That's a nice price for a Paul Pierce. That is a nice price. 9,950. So plus 9,950. I should have honestly just bought one with contracts because that 50 MT is more than one contract. Uh, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. So. Not a bad addition there. And he's going to go in at small forward because I cannot play Paul Pierce at power forward. We've got about 13k MT to work with. So we need a power forward and a two guard. Slash point guard because I don't mind playing Demon Genzo with the two. So I really don't want to play Pierce at power forward. I wouldn't mind if we... I don't think we can afford him. I don't think we can afford a lot of people here to be honest. Okay, so we can't afford any of Flash players. We can't afford a Leitner, because I sold one for 30 guy earlier. Is chucking in Jalil a center the worst idea in the world? Because, like, Jalil has got a three-pointer. His rating is unbelievable. Does Jalil have clamps? If Jalil has clamps, it might not be the worst decision in the world chucking him in a center and moving Bagley to the four. And I might have to do that, buy someone to move Bagley to the four. Or get a power forward and move Manning. The four as a starter and just go wings. 
yeah, I think this is probably the best bet is to go with 13k for a two guard and a small forward and put Manning at the four because I don't think there's many great power forwards. Okay, let's have a look at diamonds under 8k maybe. That are small power forwards maybe. Is there any good ones? Nope. Two guards. Not really any that I particularly want, to be honest. I like Smart. I don't think he's exceptional. That's kind of what we're looking at, isn't it? Okay, so let's look at Amethyst power forwards. Okay, Eric Pascal is not a bad player. He's not a bad player to run. I actually really do like Eric Pascal, so I might... I might just chuck him into the squad. I like Marcus Moore Sr. as well, but I think he's a little bit outdated. Pascal's got range extender. I'm going to put Pascal a small forward because his range extender shouldn't kill him because he'll be in the corner in a five out. So let's put in Eric Pascal. That should not be too bad. That shouldn't be too bad a player to put in. So he should only be about 12, 1300 MT. 1250. Um, he should not be the worst. All right, put in color Amethyst. Okay, 1650. No, he's a little bit expensive. I don't, again, I don't mind spending this empty on. I don't mind because that'll give me 10k MT for a nice two guard. Or a point guard. Okay, surely he's a glitch. Okay, he's glitched. So, color, amethyst, theme, campus legends. Say 2000 position power forward. Okay, yeah, he's cheap. He's cheap. I'll add him into the squad. 1,600 maybe? No. I got him for 1,000 in the last week's squad builder, which is actually crazy. Okay, so he is 1,650. Which means I got 11K for one more player. So add him in here, or power forward. I'm going to start like this. So we've got one more player to work with. I'm probably going to switch matchups and actually run with Pierce there in case he... I run Pierce to four if he zones me. Okay, so we've got basically a two guard that we have got 11k left to buy. And this guy might not, like, I know he's outdated, but just because I like this card, I might just use him. I think, honestly, just because I like Eddie Johnson, I think I'm going to add him into the squad. 7k MT, that's still, that's a good price for him. Okay, any ones with diamond shoes or contracts? Okay, so 7,000 MT. And we have Eddie Johnson added into the squad. Not the biggest deal in the world. So plus 7,000. That actually gives us 4K to work with on a last three off the bench if I want to do that. But I think I'll just go with this lineup here. Like I like Bryn Forbes and all, but I think Dante DiMincenzo is better and cheaper. So we've actually built a pretty nice team right here for like 46K MT. So this is well on, we are well under the 50K MT budget right here. So... Yeah, pretty good team. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we're playing against Mitchell, Russell, Pascal, Danny Manning, and Marvin Bagley. So it's kind of similar team to us, except for the fact that we can just absolutely abuse his um his squad. I just need to just check matchups just so that I can. Okay, so he's got 99 overall or 93 overall. What's his name? So we're fine. I actually don't know what playbook I'm even running, so I'm just gonna run a freelance. Okay, not a big deal here. We should be fine. Uh, he does have a fairly good 3, 4, and 5, but he's pretty weak in terms of his um, 1 and 2 anyway. I don't think there's going to be much of a problem blowing by his point guard or his 2 guard. Okay, I'm just going to start sending doubles at him and see how he reacts. So Manning's the one player I'm a little bit worried about because Manning can't guard Manning. Especially if he starts chucking, uh, chucking up post moves with him. That's fine. Bongo can switch that. Bongo can guard him. He's got decent interior defense. I can live with that shot. That's fine. Get into our freelance and let's just start rolling here. Kick to the corner to Eric Pascal. Green light. I'm telling you, his release is class. Like, he doesn't have range, but that's his like only problem. I can't believe like I had my entire team with my position set up just to... Uh, just so that I can 5 out better and my players are in a better position in 5 out. And I forgot them not using the Milwaukee playbook. Good shot there by Bonga. Okay, let's send the double and protect the Rimathon. 
We're there. Button's on. They threw it right into my hands. Someone's going to be open. And it's Manning from mid. Is he going to jump? No. Let's go Manning. Can't guard Manning, which is one good thing about Danny Manning, to be fair. That's an easy post hook. Good shot right there. Okay. We're good. It's been a good start. I'll send the double. I'll throw it at him. See how he reacts. And we rotate. We need to rotate better. We need to rotate better in this. We're actually in good position. Manning can't guard Manning. This is all about how uh, we press the um, jump button. Get over that. We're fine. Deny, deny, deny. He's stuck. He's stuck. That's one of the problems. If you get over those screens, I do it a lot. So I know how common it is. And it's when you go over those screens and you realize you're not going anywhere, you kind of panic pass. And it's one of my biggest problems when I play this game. I do panic pass an awful lot out of screens. So, um... You just deny that pass back to the center and they will throw at halftime even if it's not on. Green light. Good job right there. Let's go. 10 point lead to start the game. Okay. He's not getting anywhere, Manning. So send it. Let's send it. And we should have got that denial. We're fine. We cover, cover the cut. Cover the cut. Cover the cut. Let's predict his passes. I don't mind this post up because I think I can predict him well. I think he's. That's an all right move right there, to be fair. Just bully ball. I don't really trust him on the moving shot, but it's not terrible. Can't hit it with Manning. Yeah, I need to get better at that. Like, you gotta learn everyone's moving shot on the break because that is how... That's how you destroy bad players. Well, not great players. Double. Send it and get back. That's good defense. Okay, they're in no position to do anything. That's an easy two points there for Danny Manning. Okay, he's got seven points and we got a 14-2 to two lead right here. Okay, that's... Thon's job to protect the basket here. And he does it well. Let's go. To Stevenson on the move. It's a bad release. I know I hit that one, but I gotta be better. We cannot be selling releases here. And let's play up on him. Forced, forced turnover right there. Let's go. 17 to 2 lead to start the game. And he's gone. Let's go. Let's go into game number two right here. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, um Lance Stevenson. This is all on you right here. This is all on you, Lance Stevenson. I don't understand this team. I didn't see... I don't think him, Simmons is Evo'd. I do not understand this team. At all. I actually don't. I do not understand this team. He's got... Simmons and Danny Manning. And there is only two good cards. He's also got Jojo, who's blow by bait. And... I don't understand it. I don't understand. This might be a new... A uh, complete new player who pulls Ben Simmons in a free back. That's the, either that or he's just using a bunch of players for fun. He's like, Jojo is one of the cheapest uh, diamond cards. But other than that, I am actually confused. So we'll see anyway in the first two or three minutes what type of player he is. Like, if he's an actual decent player or whether he's just someone who got lucky and pulled Ben Simmons in a pack. Because he has a severe lack of shooting in the team. Aside, from, especially because I don't think Simmons is evo So I should be quite okay. And I can just throw a bunch of different defenses at him, throw some zone, throw some man, I should be fine. Uh, let's just throw some baits to start off. Let's just test him out, to be honest. Um, okay, he didn't look for the post up. He sent the double, and there we go. I know we, caused the, uh, we threw a foul there, but yeah, he's probably going to play baited in this game. I'll feel him out in the first three or four possessions because that's normally the way 2k is. You feel out your opponent very early in the game and you have a general idea what they're going to do for the rest of the game. Like Things don't change too much unless they're basically hustling you, which is the old TJ or day tactic of not showing what you're doing at all until like the third quarter. Basically just pulling away then. Um, who's there? Okay, I'm sending this. I'm sending a double here. There's no play sweepers. Like I can play sweepers at this team very, very easily because Giannis can't really shoot. It's kind of open. Good shot there by Thon. We go. Uh, San Pascal as a sweeper. San Pascal down. Send Eric Pascal down. Good defense, lads. Good defense there. And Thon has not let. Uh, Thon doesn't let Giannis do any or Simmons do anything easy, which is good as well. Thon's got the height. Might be a little bit of a struggle when DiVincenzo comes in. That's just terrible defense. We are fine for now anyway. Um, fine, he jumped. Good job in the smarter post hook. Uh, send the double. 
Defense, Pascal. To Bunga on the move. Bad release. I gotta get his moving three down. You gotta get that shot down with every player. As Bunga goes against steal. That's wide open. Green by from Lance Stevenson. Good shot. Good start. I think I'm gonna go to the bench just because um, I want to use them because I think I might be able to force guy to rage quit very, very early. Um, Manning. Let's go. It's open. It's a sell. Complete sell right there, but it's gone in. Oh, it was a shot. That was way, way too wide open to not take. Should be able to get a peek here. And we knock it down. Good shot there with DiVincenzo. We are hitting a lot of whites, though. But it's kind of early and we're fine. Oh, good job. Three of us on him. Good board. Hit Eddie Johnson. He is steady, which isn't great. But other than that, he's a pretty good card. I have not used him in a long in the longest time, though, so I have no idea what his release is like. His release was pretty good back in the day, though. And, yeah, I get it. He's got steady, but he still has a pretty good card. He's sending a double right here, which is not the smartest thing in the world to do. He actually recovered very well off that one, though. Let's see what he does. And he gives me way too much space, but I didn't take the shot quick enough. Okay, so we've got... Two players on the floor with steady right now. I cannot remember the last time I've had multiple steady shooter players on the floor. Like, maybe November. That is somewhat open. Knocks it down. Good shot there by Johnson. Let's go. We're hitting a lot of whites here, though. We need to... We need to get our releases better than this. Send it. Send it, and we can cover it. There we go. Good defense there by DiVincenzo. This guy is rattled. He is absolutely rattled so far from our defense. Okay, let's... Is he playing? Okay, he's, he's hard off balling, which is fine. Not a big deal because they're going to start stepping under or leaving shooters wide open. I never mind hard off ball. You can Hard off ball is one of the easiest things to beat. You just set a screen and something good. Like, you set a screen and whatever way they react is not going to work out. Um, double down. Good defense there by Bagley. Let's push. Let's hit Eddie. Let's go. Hit him the screen while he's still got the momentum going the other way. And we burn. Oh, give it to Bagley, who's wide open. Give it to Bagley again, who's wide open. It's fine, we still have time. And I just literally just want to pull Danny Manny out of there, because... Okay, we have one free throw. He says, like, Jojo is literally blow by base. Good shot there by Bagley. Should be blow by bait here. Right to the basket, Eddie Johnson. Good defense there by Yanis. Let's see if he attacks. See if he attacks. Good pass. This guy's not terrible. He's not very good, but he's not terrible. What's he going to send at me? He has left Bagley wide open for two. Who hits it? We barely missed a white in this quarter, so... Second and third, it's going to be tough to hit white. We do have guys that are more comfortable with their shots in those quarters. Uh, Pierce, your job protect right here. Good job, Pierce. Good defense, lads, by all of us. Great team defense. Jojo's got no range, so... Pinch in, pinch in, pinch in. Good defense, DiVincenzo. Should have a dunk right here. Don't slow down. Come on. Uh, actually, I'm going to play him high because I want to steal, to be honest. We're there. Ah, oh, we're late. It's fine. We still have a shot. And he has blow by bait in the floor, so... Four. Wide open... And it's a sell, but it's good there by Bagley. Let's go. We have a 28 point first quarter, a 16 point lead. Yeah, I think this is I think this is gonna be a comfortable game. Just go back to our starters. They left Thon wide open because he's hard off balling, which means that you can literally give the ball to whoever he's hard off balling on. Off ball center is not an effective way to play this game. Pinch in. That's fine, that's gonna happen. It's Ben Simmons. I'm telling you though, so now he is off balling. No, he's off ball centering. Still. Okay, change your defense. Okay, he actually attempted to play me and do something off the screen. What? Oh, don't take so long to catch the ball. We are being blessed right here. And he's gone. That is two rage quits. One we lasted a quarter. One we lasted just over a quarter. So anyway, that is the video. If you guys thought that you'd, 
you needed any major MT, you needed all these expensive cards to win. Trust me. Trust me, you don't. This squad right here, you can win probably 70 to 80% of the time. If you're good at the game, that is. This team is unbelievable 50k. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.